Okay, so I've got my sketchbook, and I use a recycled paper sketchbook. Watercolor paper is 22 by 30. When I paint, I take off two inches so that it's 20 by 30, and then that's a true rectangle. So it is two by three. If I cut the paper in two, it becomes 15 by 22. If I cut that in two, it's 11 by 15. A rectangle is much more attractive to me than a square. Now, it may not be true for you, and I do paint on squares, but I find that it's it's really um, ex an exercise that's a little bit tougher for me. Here's our reference photo, which is about that same size, okay? And I don't. I would like to have this flower come over here. And I'm just doing a quick little sketch of it. And the reason I like it to be here is because I could I could move it over. I could I could say, well, I need to go. That's a little too close to the wall. So if that's the case, then what if I move my drawing that direction? You know, get rid of this line. Okay, so I've made a decision here. I've said, okay, this is this is more interesting like this. And in this photograph, this touches that line, and I don't like that, so I'm going to put this here to go behind my flower because I, I like that better. Here's um, this, but it goes down, and I want, it, I want there to be some more movement there. So I'm going to do that, take it out, and then there's a lot of stuff going back here behind it that's out of focus, but there are light shapes and dark shapes, so I'm going to put those lot, lot, I can't talk, the light and dark shapes in there, and there's another thing here, and I want some more movement of something here and here. Okay, so... Now we've got some decisions being made. Now let's look at darks and lights. And for that, I'm going to switch to this, which is a General's Sketch and Wash. And it's a pencil that's softer. It, the graphite, actually, you are able to um, use a little bit of water on a brush, and you can sort of melt it a little bit and make it into a wash if you want to and paint a little bit with it. So what am I doing? Well, this flower, this white, this light in here goes right into that. So I want, I want a separation to happen here. I want more delineation to go on between my shapes. So I'm going to color in where my darks are going to be and where some of my mid values are going to be. You can see I've got a little bit lighter touch here. And that's just to allow me to see what patterns I'm going to try to have in my painting. And I am standing up when I do this. Um, I stand up when I paint. Get myself a little bit further from the subject that I'm working on. This is going to have to be... I really want this part here to stand out. And there's some pretty stuff back here going on that I want to stand out. But I don't want it to be, I don't want to take your eye off the page with white. So I'm going to color that in. Okay. So you can see that this can get really involved if you want to. Or you can be as uninvolved as you want to. And just make marks that are basically going to become your recipe for how... how your subject is going to show up. So there's lights and then there's darks. And there's some darks down here that I want to make sure happen. And it's a, it is going to be, this is, let's see, this be dark. I'm going to let this, even though it's dark in the photograph, I think I'm going to let it be light, lighter. And that goes behind this um, flower right there. 
And then down here, there's a lot of different things going on. And I do kind of like the pinks, but they're darker. They're darker there. Even though you can see pink, there is some darker going on there. So now I've moved everything this direction. And I've got some, I've got some dark sunlights established. So let's stop it here. You get that done and we'll go to the next step.